And, of course, there, uh, in, in my knowledge, there's only been one adult who's uh, been refused permission to the park. No, we didn't refuse them permission. No, we were all set. You see, we work according to what the State Department wants to do. When they come in, they, they, uh, they have guests. If he's, uh, Khrushchev was a guest of the government. So, I mean, we were ready to receive Khrushchev. But it so happened that uh, the security problem here in Los Angeles, because actually Disneyland is in another county, you see. And the uh, chief of police, we can't blame him. He had, a, he had, he had quite a, a chore there to carry out. He just uh, was, was a little worried about uh, somebody maybe walking in Disneyland with a shopping bag and what they might have in it. He was never able to know, you know. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But we were ready for him. The press was ready. The, uh, both the State Department security and the Soviet security had come and cased Disneyland, and they were all set. And I was all ready, and uh, in fact, uh, we've had a lot of dignitaries down there, and, I should and say. He, he was one that Mrs. Disney wanted to go down and meet, was Khrushchev. Mm -hmm. So uh, she was disappointed he didn't come. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, uh, it's certainly not ever an empty place, so I can understand the security men, so concern. I had, we had different shops, places where we take pictures with Khrushchev, and I had one of my favorite, where I uh, lined up in front of my eight submarines, you see, and I thought, well, it'd be nice, I've been pointing to Mr. Khrushchev, saying, well, now, Mr. Khrushchev, here's my Disneyland submarine fleet. <laughs> <laughs> it's the eighth, uh, the eighth largest submarine fleet in the world. Is it really? Mm -hmm. 